Welcome back into Queen City News at 8.30 here. We're taking you back live to this is I-77 northbound at Wilkinson and I-277 with that semi that was engulfed in flames about, I would say, a little over an hour ago at 7.15. Uh, we know one person was transported to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Fire crews seem to be leaving that scene there. Uh, Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell has moved from where she was. Uh, you're out there now. What are you finding? It looks like traffic near where you are is moving slowly. Absolutely. Yeah. So we've got the northbound lanes of I-77 still shut down, but we've got the southbound lanes that are moving slowly here along 77. We're just a little bit past where that truck caught on fire. I want to give you a kind of a look at what looks like it's going on now. You say uh, from your perspective, you guys can see a couple crews leaving. We still have plenty of fire and medic trucks out here, uh, as well as police officers still uh, along I-77. This is the northbound lane close to the John Belk Freeway. Again, we know that one person uh, was taken with a uh, life-threatening injuries to the hospital. Hospital. That's what medic tells us right now. And uh, road crews tell us that they're not sure yet what is the cause. They say, of course, that's still early to tell as it happened just about an hour ago. Now, one of the things, of course, in addition to the traffic that this is going to cause, what uh, a lot of NCDOT uh, professionals are worried about right now is the structural integrity of the bridge that that truck crashed under. As we were on our way here, we were talking with officials who are along the side of the road. They're diverting traffic off of the South Clarkson Bridge. Bridge. Um, they said that they are uh, worried that those flames that you're seeing on your screen right now, they might have they hit up, they hit that underside of the bridge. So they cannot be sure right now if that bridge is going to need some significant repairs or how much damage it was done. We know engineers are on their way out right now, but for now, law enforcement officials are the ones who are shutting down the bridge and diverting traffic off. That's why uh, we're here over just a little bit off of Freedom Drive um, as, as we're, we're in a safe spot right now to, to make sure that we are out of the way of the officials who are investigating uh, and out of the way of traffic. They say that traffic is going to be tied up for quite some time. They're thinking well into this afternoon at the very least while they investigate not only the cause of this, but what the possible lasting effects of this fire is going to be. So we're going to stay out here for a little while longer. We're going to make sure that we got the latest from the scene. We'll keep you updated on the traffic all through your rush hour here this morning. Reporting live in Charlotte, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News. Yeah, Savannah, as you mentioned there, we just had a uh, somebody from North Carolina State Highway Patrol talking about they want to make sure the structural integrity of those roads are solid before they let drivers back on the way. Mm -hmm. But he also talked about the secondary mm -hmm. impacts of those people on the southbound side there. You know, what have you seen on that southbound mm -hmm. side? Are people slowing down almost to an unsafe speed to see what's going on on the other side of the road? So from our perspective right now, we're on the south side of the crash. Mm -hmm. So what we're seeing is is kind of the effects of it afterwards as to if people are slowing down or not. That's what we can imagine is going on. Again, we have a lot of crews out here. Uh, it's hard to get a good count as to how many officials, how many DOT officials, police, fire, medic crews are still out here right now. Um, we'll try to give you a better idea of that coming up here when we check back in with you next. Um, but yeah, for as far as, as the North Mountain Lane is completely shut down, they're trying to divert traffic away from this area as possible. Southbound lanes are going slow. So we do know officials say that if you can avoid also the southbound lanes of I-77 near the John Belk Freeway, they recommend that you do that too. Uh, Savannah, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, I do want to mention that you can take Tryon or Billy Graham Parkway mm -hmm. as alternates this morning. And we also heard from the NCDOT uh, spokeswoman Jim, Jim Thompson. She said that their, maintenance, their interstate maintenance engineer uh, is going to be out there looking at the structure integrity of the bridge and of the road and the median and all that here shortly. Savannah, thank you very much. We'll check in with you uh, here in just a couple moments. Appreciate that.